what's up my people I'm the Zim and this is the Zim video and this is also my ride share experience video show series I do on the Zim video right here thanks for joining once again this is volume 2 part 18 um, and I've been a ride share driver since 2017 February 2nd was my first ride and I'm 94 rides away from 10,000 you can see in the heads up display so this week today I'm recording this on Monday this week barring any unforeseen circumstances I will achieve 10,000 rides with lift so this video here is my last video until that video um, and I don't know how long that video will take to make because that video is going to be slightly maybe more different than this regular series but um, it's gonna be 10,000 ride video I'm gonna give a comprehensive just brain dump of what I'm all this this job has been all about for me trying to get as real as possible with it trying to just yeah so if there's anything you want me to talk about um, next time in the 10,000 ride video that you you think I should mention you think I don't know whatever um, hit it up in the comments and I'll stew it over and see if it relates to what I want to talk about so do it up but anyways let's get into the normal way I do this show so I just intro usually I ask you to subscribe because I'm working toward my 1,000 subscriber but guess what guess what people we did it we made it 1,000 subscribers so now I'm on the train to um, a hundred thousand because a hundred thousand is where you get your first plaque um, you know play button plaque silver you get a silver play button so it's just, I'm playing the game of uh, YouTube for sure. Playing the game of YouTube. Made my first benchmark, 1,000 subscribers. All the thanks to you. The ride share videos have by far been the main thing that has gotten me the most subscribers. I'm gonna do a separate video on the, the 1,000 subscriber kind of thoughts and ideas. So I'll leave that to that. But um, thanks, I uh, thank you very much. Um, you know, like I said, playing the game of YouTube. Um, waiting right now for monetization to be turned back on it's been submitted so making that happen so keep subscribing so I can build keep it get that buffer so I make sure I don't drop below a thousand again at any point but um but yeah thanks a lot for that that's awesome I like to do so there's basically three sections of the show I do shout outs um, I do how much I made and I do my main topic and over on the side column there there's the money sign and how and the how main topic sign and you can scroll ahead on the timeline or go to the desktop version of YouTube and click the timestamp and it'll take you to one of those sections. But first, let's get into the shout out, shall we? And I like to shout out basically just people that have newly engaged to this show, the Rideshare Show on this YouTube channel here, um, that haven't before. So if I see an unfamiliar name, I go, hey, I don't recognize that one. Let's shout them out. So we've got some shout outs. So let's do it. I have six, it looks like. See if I can do this. I usually butcher the names, so whatever because there are YouTube handles as well and this first one is one of those af a cheese mit kataz katez cats cats thank you <laughs> Alberto Rocha Anthony Luna okay Anthony Luna I'm giving you a special shout out because uh, maybe I started the whole shout outs into this show I didn't start it at the very beginning of the show and Anthony's been with us for a while, so I might not have shouted him out at one time. I may have, I may have not. But he was like, where's my shout out? So Anthony, thanks a lot for engaging and being part of this conversation and being one of those subscribers. I'm sure you're a subscriber. Anthony, you're the man. Joe Gummerson, Eddie Meta, Angelina Kofi, I guess. All right, those are my shout outs for this week. Thanks for engaging. If you, you know, I'd love to hear from you. Comment, comment, comment. Comments are my auction. Comments are what I love, and I'll shout you out next time. I have a special shout out this week as well. Another special shout out was Jennifer Martin. She's a referral driver, and although she's only made me about three dollars, each of us about three dollars so far for doing the referral thing. Hey, it's three dollars I wouldn't have had otherwise. So thanks a lot. At the end of the video, you can kick down my referral code if you want to become a driver as well. So anyway, let's get into how much I made. How much I made this week? I cracked a thousand again. I'm pretty much rolling pretty steady and pretty much every time I get the 123 rides I roll pretty steady and get my um, bonus and then I break a thousand my deposit as you can see is 
$1,012.02. I got $29 in cash tips, so my heads up display, it'll say $1,041.02. Tips were good this week. So my thing with tips is, is if I can make at least the average of $1 per ride or better, which I did, I did 123 rides, which it doesn't say there because they still haven't updated um, the, the places where it tracks the numbers, but it says 120, or it says 113 there, but it's really 123 because I made my bonus. Um, so I don't know why, they haven't told me why, I don't know why it doesn't match. They haven't given me a good enough reason. Refer to old videos, I've been talking about this for a while. Um, $144 in tips this week. So that is, I did, I did better than $123, 123 rides, $1 per ride. So that's awesome. So thank you, San Diego, for coming through with the tips. Tips make it. They make it happen. It's all about tips. I wish, I really feel like the platforms, in order to get riders to tip more often, it's going to be up to the platforms. To Uber and Lyft have to start making an aggressive effort to say, Tipping is appropriate, and we want it to happen. And do like one of those. When do you remember when Lyft um, had that roundup to donate stuff, and they had all the crazy ads, the the big lady in the car, and she's like round up to donate. Rah. I was like, why don't you make a uh, ad like that about tipping? Why don't you be like tip your drivers because they're awesome? You know, do put that kind of effort into um, into the tipping thing because it may. It, I mean, this job we don't make enough. We straight up do not make enough off this job if we didn't get tipping. If I didn't get one hundred forty-four dollars in tips, yeah, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't work out. It just wouldn't work out. So tipping just makes it happen. And then the bonus. So I don't know what's going on. Let's as I talk about the bonus. Let's get into my daily breakdown. And you can see on I Saturday was my last day. Which I worked Tuesday through Saturday. And you can see on Saturday, um, I got. 300 some odd dollars because I got my bonus and this week my bonus was one hundred and seventy seven dollars for 123 rides which as you see in the past videos it's been one hundred and ninety nine dollars and this week that I'm in right now it's one hundred and eighty eight dollars so why are they why and you saw me make a video a couple weeks ago about them changing it already you know I was frustrated but but then it went back to 199 the week after and I was like well why did they go to 188, then go back to 199, and now they went down to 177, and now they're going to go back to 188? But that's only for the 123 rides. So I'm like, why? The question I have and the answer I'm answering for myself as to why they do it, they, what they would say if I actually asked them. It's like, why are you fluctuating the amount? Oh, because of demand in the area, because it's whatever. Then why haven't you changed the next bonus up? So my other bonus is 140. 45 rides, I get a $275 bonus. Now they phrase 74, sorry, dollar bonus. Now they phrase it as a plus X amount. So if I got 199, it'd be plus that much more after it for 22 more rides. It would be plus, I don't know the number, but um, instead of going one bonus, separate bonus, it's like this gra graduating thing. But anyways, why didn't you change that amount as well? Why, if it's, so why, or why not reduce the amount of rides? Like, I would love it if they reduce the amount of rides, which I'm going to get to in a moment as well, that whole idea of reducing rides. Uh, <clears throat> but anyways, so that's what I did this week, my, uh, Tuesday through Saturday, just my basic thing. So that's it. If you have any questions for me around how much I made, oh, one last thing. So I averaged just shy of $24. It was like $23.90 per app hour. Worked 40 43 and a half half hours. All right, that's good. So if you have any questions about how much I made, let me know. I'd be happy to break it down more if you have some questions around that's part of it. Okay, so I wanted to do, before I get into the main topic, which is why drivers should provide water in their car. And it's not, it's kind of a clickbaity, um, hopefully title, to get people to be like, what? Because it's a polarizing topic. So we'll get that out in a second. And I've talked about it before, and I'm just using it as, a clickbaity talk topic a little bit but I wanted to also use this video as a housekeeping video so right now we're gonna do a little bit of housekeeping I wrote down two things maybe I'll think of something else as we go but I did say I remember saying when it changed from power driver bonus to weekly ride challenge I did say at that time I was like okay I feel like this will be good because 
As you've known for many videos, about a year now or more, I've been in San Diego, I've been using this basically 24 slash 25 rides per day strategy, which is pretty darn sustainable. For a long time, the sustainability was keyed on the fact that the bonus level I got, I was in the rental program for a while, the amount of rides I needed to get it was less than 100, it was like 120 rides or less, either either via the rental discount slash bonus or via the when it was still power driver, like the power driver when I first got my new car, I was looking, I think it was like 105 rides or something of that. Um, and so I would be able to get the bonus and then make a decision how much more I wanted to drive after because oftentimes my bonus level wouldn't get me to $1,000. I would get the bonus, I'd be like 900 or 950 or something. So I'd go, oh, but let me get some more rides and then try to get $1,000 because $1,000 is what I've always been about with this job. That's what I want to make. So when, the, when they initially announced the ride challenge numbers, 123 rides, I was like doing the math. I was like, okay, that's about... That's like 24 slash 25 rides a day, you know, probably 24 point something, 25. Anyways, um, so I kind of started doing, I was starting to, to kind of um, grind out doing 25 rides a day. I've come now, this is the housekeeping part. Now, as of right now, having to do 25 rides five days a week, basically, I go 25, 25, 25, 25, 23 is kind of the pattern I do uh, because it's 123. You can do the math on that. Um, I kind of focus on hitting 25 each day in a lot of ways. It's very different. So basically, I have to do 20. I have to do 24 slash 25 rides every day that I drive, or I don't make the bonus. And it's so in that reality, in that thing of doing the job now this way, it's um, it's harder. It's harder because before I didn't have to do 24 rides every day. That last day would often be like 20 rides, 19 rides, 18 rides, 15 rides, just because of how it all worked out. So the last, it was, so it was a, it was easy, it was easier, it was easier, and I prefer that method. I wish, um, it's harder. It's definitely harder having to every day. You don't have that buffer. Like some days before, before I would, if I didn't hit that 25 rides or 24 rides. It was like, oh, I'll just pick it up on the last. It was easier to pick it up, but now it's like if you don't hit it. It's gonna be hurting because it means you're gonna to have to do more rides later in the week instead of instead of having that Sunday to kind of what I call flex it out like flex decide if I wanted to work less or more. So it's it's catching up to me a little bit. It's definitely catching up to me. Having like that's the that's like the top level of the threshold in San Diego is doing this 24 slash 25 rides per day is really like that's the top of the threshold and having to do it five days in a row. I'm feeling it, basically, is what I'm saying. I'm feeling it. So that's my housekeeping. Because before I was saying, like, oh, it shouldn't be a big deal. But I'm feeling it. And it may be a combination of just the fact that I'm, I've been doing this job a while. Maybe I'm just kind of, like, burn out of it a little bit. I still don't want to get any other job because I don't want to work for anybody else. So that's still the number one thing. Let's see what time I have. Looks like I have six minutes. All right. I have one other housekeeping thing to talk about. Second housekeeping thing is... So for those of you that are San Diego drivers, since I drive in San Diego, I've talked before about my routes in San Diego and what I do and all this stuff. I've added a little, um, I've kind of like settled in on a, on just a, like a really small epicenter. Like I used to say North Park is my epicenter. I have this figure eight pattern where I'll drive through North Park. The last few weeks, I've even, I've condensed and I've said this is a good area before, but I've, I find I get a lot of rides out of, basically the corner of Adams Avenue and Park Boulevard. So there's the Madison Parks and Rec, you know, different, there's a bunch of restaurants, right? But it's a combination of the restaurants and then also the area around it where people live. So there's like a people coming in and leaving it in a variety of times a day, all day long. It's just a great area. So nowadays I just, that's just where I go. I go there and I, I've been pulling over lately. I've been pulling over, watching a video. I've been hip on, um, I've been watching a lot, say I go on those YouTube holes, right? And I've been watching a lot of hot ones. If you have them for first few fees, hot ones. Sean, Ev Sean Evans, yeah, that's the host. Oh, I've just been like, I just can't get enough right now. Actually, I might be on the tail end of my getting enough. But I just, I pull over, put on a hot ones, watch it, wait for a ride and grab the ride and go for it. So that's my last part of housekeeping where I just, so I've tried. If you're a San Diego driver, 
just try hanging out around that corner. You know, I don't, I don't, I, I, this video will probably get 70 views, and most of them won't be San Diego drivers. So I'm not too worried about people, you know, stealing my rides in no sense. But I, I'm not, a, I'm not about that. I don't, I don't think that that, that's a silly philosophy to me. Just worrying about people stealing rides. Okay, how much time? Four minutes. Okay, four minutes to talk about. Um, and I just like to keep it. My clock, my thing runs out at 20 minutes. My camera. So I just have to start it over. I like to avoid that. Why you should provide not why why you should provide water in your car. I don't know what I titled it. So hopefully some clickbaity thing that get people to get frustrated with. Oh, why should I provide water? They, I don't make enough of this job to provide water. So I've said this before. The reason you no, okay that's it. The reason you should provide water in your car. The reason you should provide water in your car is not to get more tips. Is not to get a better rating. The reason you should provide water in your car is for atmosphere, is for experience, is for letting the passenger know that you're on their side. You want the best for them. If you're at all interested in doing this job the best that you possibly can, possibly, maybe, possibly, possibly, maybe, I don't know. That's what I do. I, I want to I wanna get in the car. I want everything I do. I want to I wanna drive the car. I want to do this job. I want to be the best. I want to be the best at this job that any rideshare driver has ever done. I want to be the best. In my version of the best. It's like, what could I do to be the best? And it's just like providing something for the customer that doesn't really cost that much money, especially if you're a full-time driver. Like I've said before, I've done math for a while, but it used to be about $44 a month for my water and I do candy and, and gum as well. I just, $44 a month is not that bad, in my opinion. So... And I provide it, and what it does is it creates atmosphere, it creates an experience, it, it lets the you lets the passenger know that you're on their side and you want the best for them. And on top of that, it also creates an an, um, an icebreaker in a sense, this ability for you to engage the passenger beyond like, hey, what's your name, which you should check anyway. You go, hey, I got water for you. Help help yourself if you like one. And it kind of can open up the conversation. They go, like, oh, that's so nice of you. Oh, water, I've just what I'm going. Oh, no, thanks or whatever. But it allows more more conversation to happen, more of the atmosphere to be opened up, that icebreaker aspect of things to happen. So that's why you should provide water, not for tips because it's not going to work for tips, not for better rating because it's not going to work for a better rating. I mean, every once in a while, maybe somebody will be like, oh, he provided water. He was cool. But really, the it, it just creates atmosphere, it creates vibe, it creates an experience that lets the passenger know you are on their side. So check it out. All right, if you want to become a driver, let's see what we've got. We've got two minutes. <clears throat> we, I would love your thoughts. I mean, hit me up. I don't, I don't get a lot of people that, you know, jump down my throat about things. But if you want to uh, jump down my throat about it and be like, Oh, never provide water, blah, 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 you can... Totally, do it up. I just think if, if you're at all an entrepreneur and all a, want to be a business person, at all kind of looking for ways to stand out and create a better experience, it's I I recommend it. Um, if you want to become a driver, use my referral code Zim200, and you and I both get a bonus um, no matter what city you're in. Like I said earlier, I have Jennifer Martin giving some rides right now. So her bonus was a hundred dollars. I don't know where she lives, but she only qualified for a hundred. So it's like eighty cents per ride they're doing it. Most of the time they do it per ride. So every time she gives a ride, we both get a bonus of eighty cents, up to a hundred dollars in whatever span of time they give her and amount of rides they give her to do it in. So you would get the same thing. So whatever area you're in currently in San Diego, if you're a San Diego driver, it'd be four. I think it's four fifty. I don't know what the per ride breakdown is but check it out also if you like this whole thing and you want to follow along on a more daily basis this the zim video and stuff it's rideshare zim on instagram every day pretty much i post something about the job mostly how much i made so if you're interested in a really practical look at a daily kind of look at the job sometimes you know i post every day even if i'm like I only did three rides. I was like, yeah, I only did three rides today. This is what I got. But most of the time, I'm doing around that 24, 25 rides a day. Post what I got. Um, so there's that. And then also, if you like this conversation and you want to you get behind the scenes a little bit more, I have a podcast called Creative Mind, which is my podcast about life and times and all that things about being a creative. And also, ratchet driving. I talk a lot about my experience ratchet driving on that. Anchor.fm. 
slash the Zim, also on all the podcast places. And also, um, one last thing is if you want to support this whole thing, if you want to help me get a better camera, better computers, let me pay for my computer, which I just bought, pretty stoked on it, and all those kind of things just kind of keep this ship afloat because riding for um, ride share, basically all that does is make sure I keep my house going but other but any extra stuff like this show and working on videos and yeah I, 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 it's all DIY at this point but I'd love it to go farther so check it out it's patreon.com slash the zim I'd love your support um, with it all so kick down if you want to see it, more of it happen and grow and thank you once again for subscribing if you haven't subscribed but if you have thanks for giving me past that 1000 subscriber mark super stoked on that and until Next time, be excellent to each other, and may your rides be long and your tips be big.